All right, a time for a Anasis game. Uh, this will be a beginner's guide to Anasis. This champion is actually quite decent in the jungle these days. It got buffed, like passive buff and Q buff pretty recently as well. So, you know, that's very nice. His it, gameplay starts out very slow, but his ganks are actually pretty good due to the wither. Uh, slow being so big. And this obviously combines with approach velocity to give you the movement speed towards the target to be able to hit the target. But yeah, the, uh, the slow from this is huge, right? So, yeah, that adds up. There you go. You can level it up more to get more slows, everything. It's uh, quite good. Mostly for the Q as well. You get 12 stacks off of large uh, camps. So the red buff, the big, uh, the big raptor, etc. So that is actually quite good, quite fast. You want to try to obviously focus on that one as much as possible. And the more stacks you can get, the better you'll skill. And pretty much the only damage item you need is like a sheen slash trinity force but sheen like mostly right so that is not bad starting off pretty slow here and have to be a bit careful right now wait it out smite q gonna kind of have to just wait for the q cooldown there make sure i get the uh the big smite q there you have to really keep your pet damage in mind my pet currently lost 24 per tick i need to make sure that no matter what happens i you know get my stack off the big one so we always try to focus on that so right here try to hit it and make sure check how much damage your q does this obviously goes up every time but as you can see right now i'm sitting on 24 stacks already off of just two camps which is quite good but yeah that's the biggest thing you're going to be focusing on it's just going to be getting the stacks from the big one you don't want to try to milk the stacks too much out of the small ones either because you actually want to have some type of jungle clear speed you know what i mean so you want to be a little careful with that but for the most part here, just focus on getting the big one and let the pet kill the small ones and you should be good. Right, for the clear purpose, we're going to go double Q. We are against the Master Yi on this one, which is actually a bit of a problem. It's probably one of the, wor like the, the worst matchup you can get. It's like Master Yi and Belveth. Pretty, pretty tough. Uh, but yeah, Master Yi is a little scary for sure. Let me make sure here that I don't hit anything with this so I can actually Q the big one. There we go. Good. And we're just going to keep clearing. Not the fastest clear. But the stacks are getting there. You're obviously delaying your clear capabilities due to getting those stacks. But I'm already sitting on 48 stacks, which is quite good. And top lane looks pretty decently gankable as well. So that is not too bad. Just gonna hit this one down. Make sure here that once again you lost hit with your Q. There we go. Perfect. And then we E this. Probably gonna end up smiting this one so I can gank top lane quite quickly. Uh, so there's that six seconds on the queue we're just gonna clear this smite and then run top most likely finish that off get it down auto attack queue perfect there we go and then we just move there is a scuttle here there's a master yi here as well i will not be able to fight because of the alawi's priority and the mid lane priority i have to respect both unfortunately i might be able to fight the master yi by himself okay that's relatively spicy i i can't really do too much here. I might be able to go for like a mid play regardless, but we'll see. This is warded, okay. That guy just hard into it. It wasn't warded. Flash used. I got approach velocity towards the target. Okay, I'll help you shove whatever you want. Fighting topside is just not very smart. What are you doing? Oh, this Casio is on drugs, by the way. Like, what is going on here? He's gonna ghost, I guess. Monster Yi is gonna ghost towards me as well. Gonna walk out this way. Ah, Cassio is on drugs. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> Alright then. I might actually be able to cheese the guy. Don't get hit. Ah, I can't do that. Well, she will kill me if I do this. This is just too much. I need to mute this Cassio. She is on drugs. I do not want to deal with her any longer. She affected my plays quite a bit, the way I played that, with those pings. And I should just ignore that, because I played it very poorly because of her. And, yeah, it's not very good. Just mute, it's fine. Ah, uh, it's, yeah, kind of annoying, really, but it's fine. Uh, he used Ghost and he used Flash. I'm pretty sure Ignite was also used. I'm just going to have to focus on getting my camps cleared once again, getting my stacks up. We have the Sheen, which is good. So we are going to uh, be significantly stronger because of that, which is nice. But yeah, but uh, like, that definitely didn't help. <laughs> definitely didn't help. Oh, okay, okay. You do want to make sure that every time you Q, you actually Q to uh, Sheen proc as well. That will be your damage. You don't want to like E and then auto attack for the Sheen proc. You want to E and then instantly Q for the Sheen proc. 
because that is important. And if you have the queue up for the small ones, definitely queue the small ones as well. Might want to go. Nope, we don't go mid lane here. It's fine. Okay. Uh, he's most likely going for the void grubs now. I would imagine. That would be logical. That's gonna kill. That's fine. Right, we hit level five, and we're just gonna move to the void grubs. I think. I don't know if I can actually fight the mastery, especially considering the fact that my Casio has no mana. And the Alawi has complete lane, uh, lane, uh, lane priority. Yes. That's going to be annoying. I actually just want to smite that, I think, just to get it. Ganking Alawi is completely off the table now because she hit level 6. So I have to respect that, unfortunately. It is what it is. Should have waited with Q there until the Sheen proc is up so we could get a bit more damage out of it. 304 or something, I believe. All right, good. I'm just keeping as much tempo as I can. This matchup isn't the most ideal, plus their solo laners are both just simply better players. So I cannot really contest anything here, unfortunately. So I just have to respect it for now. I might have been able to like fight this a bit more aggressively or potentially go for like a top gank a bit more aggressively if my Renekton didn't lose all trades before anything else happened. So I just have to be careful. This guy is actually very low. That looks like a gankable situation. She does have a Lowy ultimate, but Renekton has Renekton ultimate, and this seems fine. We're gonna hit this. And just instantly Q. Right there, make sure to land the E. And, and then insta Q instead of auto attacking, then Qing. No normally it's like an auto attack reset, right? Uh, but you have to make sure that you get your Sheen proc to land with your Q, so I instantly go for that. And here as well, I want a Sheen proc with the Q. We're just gonna do these. He does dragon, that's fine. I'll trade this for void crops, that's not a problem. Obviously, we know his bot site now, which is actually pretty good information for us. We can calmly do this and get a kind of kind of a nice amount of stacks off this. All right, because I can last hit all of these. That dragon is fair. I mean the enemy laners are generally doing better. I guess my Ferris is doing pretty well, to be fair. Let's get this down a little bit lower. I wanna absolutely guarantee that I lost hit them with Q, so even if I take like an extra second here or there, it's worth it. Just to make sure that I get the lost it every time. I'm already sitting at 168, which is very, very strong. We're getting there, really, you know? It's one of those where you just have to play it, like, nice and calm, and you'll be fine. Making sure here that I get that lost hit there as well. Then I might just be able to look for a mid lane play here, perhaps. This guy is pretty overextended. If we hug this wall right now, I can loop in behind and probably go for it. I don't have to ghost for this. Actually, I might have to ghost now because he's actually in a quite a, kind of an annoying position. Uh, he's definitely running. Oh, he's interesting. Instantly Q. Just got an R. Q and um, hit this guy down as well. I'm not dead. Perfect. Nasus R makes you incredibly strong. Get a lot of lifesteal out of things as well. Uh, so it's very, very strong there. It's a bit of an interesting path Yasuo took there. He could have most likely just walked like this and been okay, I think. But he decided to go all the way into my jungle for some reason. And I guess we take those. Uh, Trinity Force needs 2400 gold, so I'm not going to back until I get that. I'm just going to clear my camps and, uh, you know, go from there, basically. So I do want to get the Trinity Force on the next back if I can. And, yeah, I'm just going to farm our camps because they're up in anyway, so we might as well go for those. I believe 430 was the hit I just got off that, so I'm going to lower it to that point. And then queue it, perfect. We're getting up there already. You can see 219 sacks is quite strong. It's a large amount of damage. Then I'll attack the small ones for a bit so we can queue the big one. And just hit it down. You basically, for Nasus' build, you go Trinity Force and then add that. Oh, he just died. <laughs> Minion block OP. Uh, basically, for Nasus' build, you go Trinity Force into a lot of tank items. And then ideally, tank items that provide you with ability haste. And those are the items you mostly want to look for. So an amazing armor item would be a uh, uh, Frozen Heart, sorry, which gives a tremendous amount of ability haste. Uh, the CDR boots are also the boots you want to take for the extra ability haste. Casio just hard greeted by walking up too far, so he's most likely dead. It's okay. I mean, she is wasting a large amount of Master Yeast time, so that is actually quite decent. She might even kill him if he messes up too much. 
actually gonna smite then Q so I can uh, get the Q there to kill. Next back I'll have my Trinity Force, which is good. Right. I mean, it does die, but it does waste a lot of Master Yi's time. There might be small ults here that the top scuttle is up. That could be kind of nice for some extra stats. Stacks, sorry. Max your W second. Uh, we're looking very, very strong right now. We're already up to almost 300 stacks. 484, okay. Really want to be mindful of what your Sheen hit actually hits. Uh, I have a large amount of money. I could theoretically go for this mid lane play, but with this amount of money, I really shouldn't. It is better to back for Trinity Force here and just move on. Uh, that's a bit too much gold to wait for, so I will not be doing that. We have one minute on that. Last of just went bot lane. Okay. My bot lane is doing quite well, but that was a big kill for Master Yi. We have about 50 seconds on the Void Grubs. I'll probably just play for those again in this situation. I just clear my bot side two camps here, most likely, and then move on. I think I will be doing quite well against Yi in a 1v1 now, but... Yeah, I don't particularly want to go for steel caps early, at least. It's more of like a late game situation, uh, so that's there's that. But mm. Got an extra three there. Raptors will be spawning here now as well, and then we we'll just do raptors into void grubs most likely. I'm gonna have to danger ping here. Uh, top plane's looking a bit spicy as well. 673 damage is going up massively here. This is good. Kills, perfect. Alright, let's go for the Void Grubs then. He might go Dragon again, but that'd be fine. Do that too. I do have a bit of a problem here, considering the mid lane and priority difference. Let's just hit that. He is doing this. I'm just gonna go for it. Ghost. We are. He just dies. I was considering, like, waiting there, but I don't particularly want to wait and allow him to get towards the Alawi. That would be quite bad behind these things walk there hit that with Q just wait for my team stall wither him that got me hit by the Alawi that's quite bad actually I'm just gonna hit anyone at this point it's fine kill the Alawi pretty quickly and we should be good there not too bad I just big thing to remember there is just don't overextend for something. I was making sure I played that as safe as possible because I'm still in a disadvantage position number wise. If you can ward that, that would be great. But a monster, you might just rush it at this point. I'll be fair. But yeah, in that situation, I played it as slow as possible just to make sure that I got that uh, play to work. Now, monster, he does get the second dragon here, unfortunately, because Cassio is basically just giving it to him. He most likely could have pressured her off. Um, or she could have most likely pressured him off that play. But, you know, it is what it is. I think it's worthwhile, generally speaking, because I do win the entirety of this topside play uh, by getting a large amount of kills for my team as well. My bot lane is doing quite fine. They do have two dragons, yes. I think this, the first dragon is fair to get for the enemy team, but I do believe that the second dragon there was completely unnecessary. If Cassio played with, like... Any type of map awareness, that should never have been a dragon. Because Cassio with my bot lane should have been more than strong enough to prevent that from happening. Just gonna hit this down. And I might be able to look for like a bot play here, perhaps. We'll see. You can, you start, the more ability ace you have, as you can see, the more you can start queuing small ones as well, which will up the speed of your stacks. Currently sitting at almost 400, which is very good. You can also hit lost hit wards with your Q and stuff. So that's what I'm doing here. Get the Q there, and we just scout. I have my R up, so I'm, I am pretty strong. Let's go mid. Oh no, you're running in the wrong direction again there, buddy. Yeah, I'll get the kill. I'll get the turret here too, to be fair. It's not too bad. If she ran straight towards me, she could have actually survived that, but she didn't, so it's what it, it's what it is. Try to last hit as many things as possible here. You have like very good cooldown on your Q now with the ability haste boots and such. We're also gonna last hit the turret with the Q as well. There we go. Also got first turret for extra money too. That's pretty good. Check his raptor camp. It is up. Not bad. Might be able to check his uh, check his red. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. 773. Got to keep that in mind. No problem. 
There we go. Good. Get his red buff too. And then I can just run top here. She doesn't have much mana. Uh, but I do want to finish the red. I don't want to give Master Yi his red buff for free in that scenario. I wonder if this Alawi has her R up or not. She doesn't have much mana. So there is that. But whether she has R or not is going to be a question, I suppose. It's going to hit this. She does have ult apparently. That sucks. Doesn't matter though. I mean, as Nas as your Q cooldown is very low. I'm going to be a bit toxic there. That's plus 12. <laughs> That's the only champ I do that on. Is Nasus because of the uh, 12 for that. It is not. It is definitely not uh, user friendly, I guess, towards your laners. But plus 12 is a plus 12. You know, I'm almost at 500 stacks, which is huge. Q starts hitting for about 900 about now, which is very good. Uh, I guess I just do top scuttle, right? Ooh, I could walk in here and wait for him. I don't think he's seen me. Q him first. Step back. Thank you. <laughs> I was holding Q there to make sure I could last hit that. I'm actually going to wait and just get my plus 12 out of the deal. He could never kill me in that situation, so me tanking him there is completely fine. I'm not getting pressured in by any of the enemy laners either. So I just have all the time in the world to just, you know, chill. And wait for him to uh, get hit by it. Obviously here, once again, we're going to try to last hit this. We want to make sure we get this next dragon, so that's definitely a priority for me right now. Something to look for. 307 damage on the Q for this one. Get that down. I need to pick that up before I go for that play on top. And I don't particularly want to go for this. Because of Caitlyn being here. There it is. Yeah, that bot lane was spotted here. So it would be a pretty big numbers disadvantage to go for a play like that. And don't particularly want to do that. A dragon is something of a high priority for me right now. So I'm definitely looking for that. Okay, let's take a reset, get the Frozen Heart. They're pretty much full AD, so I can just stack armor. Uh, because of that, I will be going for Thornmill next. Thornmill. Uh, this is something I'm going to do because of this game situation. Thornmill is just going to be good. Healing reduction is nice. Uh, the Reflect damage is quite nice as well. So that's on I'll probably, probably switch these boots at some point as well. Because of the fact that I need... Oh, that's a bad hit. Uh, because of the fact that I probably need the extra armor from it. The Ghost, we press this on him. We are. We just hit the Q and hit the Q again. That's one. Ghost is active. We just Q as many times as possible here. Q with the uh, Sheen Pork at the end and finish them off. A very nice chase potential. Our bot side is all up, but we see the Master Yi in top side. So our goal is to try to take his camps first and then look to play for the Dragon afterwards. My bot side camps are not going to be taken from me, so it should not be a problem. All right, this should be free. Just do this. He's withered, so I have permanent movement speed towards him. There's no way you can outrun me here, buddy. Dead. Perfect. Go for dragon now. My wither is maxed out, so my slow is ridiculous on this thing. Like, <laughs> there is nothing they can do to run from you, especially if you have approach velocity. 855 damage. 85, sorry, on the Q, so I've got to keep that in mind. So ideally, when it's about 2k, we smite Q. We're going to do that. There we go. Make sure the last hit it with Q again. And then our bot side is up, so we'll be taking that as well. Uh, ideally for this Rift Herald, we'd want to use it on one of the side turrets on the side lane. So one of this one or that one, because those give the most gold. We are currently sitting at 600 stacks, which is very good. Just by like, you know, queuing the big one every time. Because it gives 12 stacks every time, which is actually colossal. It adds up a lot. 978, no problem. There we go. My bot lane is looking a little sus at the moment. I can queue that and I can just kind of stall this one to queue that. Nope, I cannot because I cannot step backwards here. I'm gonna wait for them to get close. That is good enough for me. We wither him. We are. So we have a Q cooldown going. Q again. That's two. We wither this guy so we have the permanent movement speed increase towards him. I'm gonna go for the last hit on this thing. There we go, perfect. Uh, the R lowers your Q, uh, your Q cooldown time drastically, which is very good for DPS. So, you know, as you can see, each uh, sy siphoning strike has a 50% reduced cooldown, which is very strong. I just have to stack armor against this team, but I am gonna go for the Sundered Sky here because I already have quite enough armor at the moment, and Sundered Sky is a very good sustain item, as well as just a damage item in general because it guarantees a crit, which is quite nice. 
Uh, but yeah, this this is definitely one of the extra damage items I take. Apart from Trinity Force, it's the only one you really need. Uh, the rest can just be armor items or tank items in general. A very good magic resist item on Nasus is going to be a Spirit Visage. It's a massive one, but this team doesn't really have magic damage. I guess it has a swing. I could consider going for it, to be fair. Just walk at him. We want to sidestep that thing, exactly. Just patiently wait that one out and don't get hit by the tentacles. He gets the kill, unfortunately, but that's fine. The most important thing against the Lowy is that you dodge that outgoing tentacle she throws out. If you can dodge that, you're good. We can actually Baron here. I'll show you why we can easily Baron here. It's because of Nasus's ridiculous Baron damage. Because all you really have to do is just click R and just spam Q. Try to, like, line it up with your Sheen proc as much as possible, too, but obviously it doesn't line up particularly well. And Nasus R does a large amount of damage to Baron, and Nasus, or uh, sorry, Varus also does quite a good amount of damage to Baron. We saw their team both sides, so it should be doable. Obviously, I have the 50% damage reduction against Baron. If I wasn't tanking Baron, this would have died much faster, uh, but that's okay. There we go smite and then Q the finish for the plus 12. Can be a bit greedy, but in this situation, it's fine. I do have to use my Rift Herald soon, within 20 seconds. I guess there is that. Uh, I would have used it top lane, but I just saw a Baron opportunity I wanted to go for with the ult activation instead, so that's what I prioritized. I have 13 seconds to place it, so I'm going to recall and just place it towards Bolt, I think, and see if I can play for that. I run out of base here. It will automatically place if it times out, by the way. It no longer, like, removes it. So there's that to keep in mind. I'm gonna go back, build the tunneler here, and then pick the home guards up again and move. Uh, I can probably just use the Rift Herald for a dash for now. You just make sure you don't hit anything and your Rift Herald won't lose HP. He is slightly outspeeding me. <laughs> 425, 405. Yeah, I can never reach him. That's a bit unfortunate, eh? Fair enough. I can hit the bushes and get my blue smite movement speed increase and make it. But my goal is to go for this turret here, which is going to be worth 700 gold to me. Uh, so the Rift Trial is going in the right direction, and it should be quite the easy bounce to land, I would hope. If I just can reach it. I'm considering ghosting here, to be honest, but I think that's pretty stupid. Just walk into the turret range, because I want to get the 700 gold range on this. We just are. We wither. We have ghost going. This guy is already dead. That's one. Wither here. That's two. Perfect. This is going to be three. There we go. Four. Perfect. Oh. Sustainability is very high, and then Nasus R lowers your Q cooldown so much. It's just pretty free. And that is the end of this game. At 3,100 damage on Trinity Force, and I mean, some extra stats here. It was a pretty short game, though, so I will see you guys in the second one. All right, before we move into game number two here, I quickly wanted to mention that about 60% of the people who watch these videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you are enjoying the content, it would be greatly appreciated if you consider subscribing, uh, maybe checking if you're subscribed and hitting the like button helps out a lot as well. But with that being said, I will hope you guys enjoy game number two. All right, it's time for a Nasus game. Uh, this will be the second game of this video. I will be playing against the Master Yi once again, which is quite interesting, I will say. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, do another one here. I think I went over pretty much everything in the previous one, so we're just going to get into it. We have an Akali top lane who is pretty good to gank. Uh, pretty easy to gank, I would say, with Shen. Should be doable. If I can put the Akali behind a little early, that'd be good. I also like clearing towards the Void Grubs quite a bit on Nasus for Q charges and stuff, so there was that. Ideally, I would like to get a leash here, but it doesn't look like I'll be getting that leash, which is actually quite unfortunate because it's going to uh, cost me a large amount of clear speed, and I don't really have the ability to afford that. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I hope it pays out for bot lane. Uh, on Nasus, this is the stuff you don't want to see because initially your clear is quite bad until you get like some charges on your Q and everything, so this does very much suck, but I'm just going to have to deal with it, unfortunately. I think if I knew this, I probably would have just started blue by myself instead. But yeah, this is uh, a little awkward, I suppose. Hopefully it pays out for them, though. At least. Do it 98 damage. Uh, I'm going to have to wait a full 6 seconds for this thing, too. Uh, this is quite painful. This is the stuff you don't want to see. Ah, damn it. I shouldn't have done that other auto attack. I missed my 12 stacks there. 
That's cringe. That actually hurts me quite. That hurts my soul quite a bit, man. M missing 12 stacks on Nasus is a painful endeavor. 109. Damn. You need to keep pet time, uh, keep pet damage in mind and all that. And I auto attacked, and I shouldn't have auto attacked there. And I had to smite there too, because if I don't smite there, it's gonna be even worse for me. Okay, that's really bad actually. Akali gets a kill that early on a Shen. That's very impressive. Should not be expecting a level two Akali to be able to pull that one off, but. I guess the problem for me right now is I am massively, massively slowed down. Until you hit at least level 2 with your E damage, your clear speed is going to be very, very slow. So that definitely does suck. And to make sure I don't hit the big one here, just hit a couple small ones and just get it down with the Q. Two points Q. Uh, this is going to be an extremely slow clear. On Nasus, you absolutely want that leash. If you do not get that leash, you will be in a bit of trouble for sure. Also, obviously, missing the first Q is quite bad for me too. So right now, it's definitely not looking great for me, I will have to say. Did I just... Okay. Sure, I'm gonna have to wait the entire thing now. I think I misclicked on the small one there, that sucks. I can't hit the small one there, by the way, because my pet damage potentially kills the big one if I do that, so I just have to completely wait. Um, definitely a really bad start. Compared to the previous game, where I actually got a leash, you can see the difference enormously. Uh, so definitely, you know... Get the leash if you can. If you can't, you're gonna be in pain. Which I am currently quite in a lot of pain here. So that's pretty painful. Okay. Cue that. And as you can see, I still have to do blue after all this. It impacts your clear speed so 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 massively. Nasus doesn't have the luxury of starting anything by himself. And I even missed my 12 charges. 179. I don't know if I can actually gank top lane here, to be fair. I might, um, you know, be in trouble here as well, potentially. Let's queue this. Get the wither. There is that. So we're going to have to danger ping there. Probably just go for the mid lane gank, because the top lane gank is probably not going to happen. Let's do this. We go. We ghost. We wither. Oh, he's in that bush. I see. He's going to throw a die for this. That's very stupid. Thank you very much, Monster Yi. We take those. And we also get the cannon here. An extra plus 12. Not too bad. He doesn't get to fight me, I just wither him here. Just auto attack him down, I think he just dies here now. Can't walk into turret range, so I cannot disrespect him that- Oh, uh, why is Senna mid? Walk behind the minion so that thing doesn't hit me at least. <laughs> oh god, that was a bit scary there, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's Senna rotation. Uh, Z this guy's pretty doomed with his wave, like he's gonna have to push that out and it's gonna cost him time. Uh, the fight there overall is not too bad. Most of you hard greeted for that play. I don't know exactly know why, but we happily take those, you know. Take the extra attack damage for now. And I'm just going to go for this bot side. I'm most likely going to end up losing the Void Grubs here, but there's just not a whole lot I can do about it, considering the fact that my bot lane didn't leash for me and my entire tempo slows down massively because of that. And with this, you also see, like, the biggest flaw with Nasus. Like, the previous clear was pretty reasonable. But if your bot lane does not want to leash for you, you're going to lose a lot, sadly. And that is completely out of your control, which kind of sucks. Do that down. Um, I mean, good old C just takes Void Grubs at any moment here. I don't think there's much I can do about it. So we just keep our tempo going and keep the stacks from the jungle. We'll scale well. The moment we hit 6, we'll be fine. But until that point, you know, it's going to be a bit slow. I do have Sheen now, so that's going to up my damage a massive amount, which is great. Uh, but yeah. Do the big one. Alright, it hasn't been cleared just yet, so after this, I definitely have the opportunity of potentially looking for them, which I actually think I will. Let's see if we can find a Master Yi over there. I will have to respect him a decent amount, because, I mean, he is quite good uh, to kill me. If he doesn't have ult, though, your W actually has very good effect on him. Uh, with ult, it's a little bit more tricky. I'm pretty sure Akali would have warded this, I think. No ward, okay. Gonna hit it down. Fight Q. It's fine, I'm gonna just focus on getting these down. If he does dragon, that is fair. Uh, but yeah, just get the stacks off this. I might be able to gank top after this, but we're gonna focus on the stacks first. I should have queued one more time, but now I'm gonna have to hold it. Because I don't have the most ability haste just yet. Uh, make sure to sheen proc there, make sure I don't miss it. I'm being very careful to get those Q procs. How much damage is this? 306. Okay, perfect. After this, I will go for the Akali gank. Auto attack Q and then move top. Uh, 
Uh, you need to taunt him there, buddy. This is not going to end well. Just W click on him. I guess I'm just going to have to help him shove here. Right. That's not a problem. Ideally there, if Shen could taunt, that'd be good, but... This is a dead, dead Akali. Oh, uh, he does have flash. He could have killed him there. If he simply flash taunts the moment her shroud ended, Akali would have insta-died. So that is on to Shen there for not getting it. Can he get out? He might be able to get out if he runs towards me. Good, good, good. Shen ults as well. Not bad at all. Might be able to check his raptors. I think the chances of that those being up is there. It's not. Okay, fair. I didn't get the chance to queue it there, but that's okay. The wave will be pushing towards my Shen here, or uh, Zed, sorry. Uh, so we do not touch the wave in that situation. Uh, my camps are up, so I'm probably just going to go end up clearing them instead of recalling. Because I don't particularly have anything to recall for right now. I cannot finish my Trinity Force. After this clear, I will be able to. And it doesn't provide me with much extra damage to back for anything else. Unless I can buy the, the boots, which I currently don't have yet, so that doesn't matter. Uh, so we're just going to queue with the Sheen. Sheen is all the damage you need. So we just queue it up. 401. Okay, keep that in mind. Make sure that is going to be the next hit here. Good enough. Perfect. Hit that down. And then auto attack and queue the last one. We're just going to commit to the rest of this clear. And then reset afterwards for the Trinity Force. I do not want to fight this at all. The reason I do not want to fight this is because of my gold situation right now. I mid lane might have to be a reaction here for me though. I think going for mid here makes sense. You won for a bit of stacks there. But, okay. And he is, she is dead. But, okay, well. There's not a whole lot I can do about this, unfortunately. I can pressure him off a little bit and like let Zed push the wave or something, but what is going on with that? Okay, sure. Yeah, so a flash down. Chen is dead. I'm a bit of a struggle bus situation now. Like most of this like sluggish tempo right now is definitely just due to that early leash that I didn't get, which you know it it still remains painful when that happens. Let's do that down. It's kind of slowly but surely uh, keep getting gold income. Ideally, if I can get those Void Grubs in 50 seconds, that'd be great. He's going to go for Dragon. There's Nakali here. I'm going to have to smite that, I think. Wither, she is dead here. This is a guaranteed death. Q by auto attack moving. That's very aggressive from the Akali to decide to go for a, for a Nasus like that. That is extremely greedy. Because it's very tough for her to like kill me within my R. <laughs> really tough. So the fact that she went for that is kind of crazy. Oh, I thought red would be up. I guess I am mistaken. Let's go take the Void Grubs though. Ideally here. Hopefully, at least. Uh, uh, Ezreal's rotating as well. This is not looking good. Uh, about 400 damage on that. I don't want to smite the first one, ideally, so I'm going to do this instead. I do have a large amount of money to back for. Just going to have to slowly but surely get this done. The longer I can hold my smite, the better in this situation, because I need to have it ready to go for when I actually need it for something. A 404, I'm not going to smite this one just yet, but I'm also not going to be able to queue this one until it hits the 404. To wait for my sheen proc as well to make sure I get it. Whilst he is looping in from the backside of mid lane. I will not be able to move there. I'm just going to finish the void grubs. We can smite and then queue it. Okay, that's good enough. Shen ult saving uh, Zed there is pretty nice. I'm going to just take his raptors real quick. I do have to recall very soon here. So I'm going to take his raptors and leave. The reason I'm doing his raptors is purely because I know he's dead for sure, right? So there's no point. I'm going to queue one of the small ones for now. 
E again and then Q the big one. Finish this off. Hit this thing real quick. I have 3,400 gold, so I'm just going to take my reset. Uh, this is greedy. I need to respect there and actually move back. Boltland is doing quite well. This guy just needs to recall. I have too much gold to consider helping him right now. It's not worth it. It's a large amount of gold. I absolutely have to back it. Turn only force, get this, and then we build towards Frozen Heart again. Get the ability haste from this. At the very least. And just finish the item off. Uh, ideally here, I think I don't want to be playing... I mean, Botlane's doing fine. I guess I could just start both side and clear up. Shen is struggling quite a bit. This is also mostly because of the fact that he rotated for a lot of plays with his ult, so he's a bit down in experience. And with a bit, I mean he's actually done a lot of CS. I should have had more CS, but obviously, again, as I said, the bot lane not helping me leash slowed me down a lot of tempo. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Gonna keep up a nice pace here as much as I can. We do have almost 300 charges, which is not bad. We do have our Trinity Force now and our uh, boots, which is solid. Uh, but yeah, that dude's definitely dead. Means that's fine, right? Definitely like need to consider doing oh. Okay. Doesn't one shot that sadly. Not yet at least. Let's just cue the last one here as well. Do the red buff. Guess I could just look for the uh Rift Herald. This game is gonna be a bit of a sluggish one. Jinx is quite fat, but did just give her shutdown to Ezreal. So there is that. I just need to get my smite finished and just play it calm. Like, for Nasus, really, like, as long as you play it relatively calm, just make sure you get a good, consistent pacing in your camps. Your mid to late game scaling is going to be ridiculous. Now, I could have done more in this game specifically, like, absolutely, but that is all down to, like, initial jungle tempo, really. Because it slows down the rest by quite a bit, unfortunately. 674. Boltman is doing well. I could just go for Rift Herald here, that seems fine. Akali is bot lane. They're all bot lane right now. Hopefully Jinx doesn't die. I guess Seraphine just kind of sacrificed herself, it seems. Ideally, I don't want to be tanking this if I can avoid it, because that will do more damage. But I am tanking it currently, unfortunately. 486. As long as I'm not tanking it, at least. I don't have Smite currently. I'm going to hold on to my... Uh, my Q here. He's walking away, which means I'm going to be forced to tank it now. Which means my Q does less damage, so I have to hit it all the way down here. And I don't even finish it there. God damn it. Yeah, that's the downside about the 50% damage reduction towards your... Towards, like, the camp. If Ah, uh, whatever, man. I could have killed that, like, 50 times faster if the Shen would have actually kept tanking it. Kind of annoying. He's going to take his topside camps at this point. Because I know it's all up, pretty much. Because he's bot lane. Uh, I think this might not be necessary. I can just go Dragon here, I would imagine. Because our jungler just died, and I could just get the mid turret here as well. I will also try prioritizing the Q on this big uh, this big thing right here. And obviously trying to finish off the turret with the Q as well. Get the Sheen proc ready to go, hit the turret, and then we just focus on getting the cannon now. Good, and then we move Dragon. We're getting somewhere. How much damage is this? 714. Okay, perfect. That is good information to note. A good kill. Nothing to worry about there. That's 668. Did I see that correctly? 88. Okay. Keep that in mind. Akali gets a free push. Not too happy about that, but... Just wither him. Just gonna chase this out. Go for this guy. My ghost is gonna help me more than enough. Q. Perfect. Just get some of his camps. Get my stacks out of this. I actually kind of want to rift out this bolt turret as well for the 700 gold if I can get it. But I don't know if that's gonna be possible. Probably have to show some respect here and not actually Rift Herald this right now. 829, okay. 
Does he E forward? I should have gone for that cannon, I think. Let's just wither him. See what happens. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love it, honestly. That wither is absolutely disgusting, slow, and then into that. It's just absolutely hor like horrible to deal with for the enemy team. Okay, I'm just gonna Rift Herald this then and see what happens. No, thank you. Don't surrender, please. It's fine, guys. Literally, don't worry about it. I got this. Make sure this hits the turret. And then here as well, we want to make sure that we lost hit the big one. I want to finish the turret. Even if I die for it, I think that'll be fine. I do give a thousand gold shutdown on death, but this thing is worth a 700 gold to me, so I'll take it. There we go. I'm going to be quite rich. I will not disrespect this recall position, actually. Because I could die for that if I do that. Just going to run all the way. I do have blue smite, so if I make sure I clip the bushes here, I should be fine. For the movement speed. I have 4,000 gold, so even though Shen has ult, I'm not going to risk it. Just run through the bushes, get the movement speed, and run. Uh, I'm worth a 1,000 gold shutdown, so I shouldn't risk it for no reason. There was just no point in doing that. I'd rather not do this. I want to spend my money right now. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Get the Frozen Heart. I'm going to need a Spirit Visage right now for the Magic Resist and a Sustainability. Yo, excuse me. Nah, no, whatever. I'll just buy this for now. It's fine. Get the ability haste from this thing instead of getting this finished at the moment. It's fine. I'm moving bot lane as fast as I can now. I probably have to go for the red here. I mean, I'm in a very strong position anyway. It's a bit slow again, but we're we're getting there. We have almost 500 charges. It's going to be very hard for the Akali to deal with me in like an item worth of time. The moment I have that spirit visage, it's going to be very, very hard. So the mastery is going for an on-hit build, which is beautiful. This is fine. That's definitely a dead Akali. There's nothing she can do at this point now. Wither, Q, R. Okay. I'll happily take the shotgun, thank you. That is big money. But that's the thing, Akali's never going to properly be able to deal with me as Nasus, so I'm going to be very happy about that. We wither for the slow, cue him, get the, get the charges. Walk with him here, cue him at the end. No, why, I'm just, why would you take my kill, my guy? Come on. That dude just suicided. Wait, I didn't cue there? Oh, that's kind of sad. Okay, that's fine. I could push for mid turret, but like... Pretty much all of Masvi's camps should be up, and these are worth plus 12 to me every time. So that's worth more, way more to me than hitting mid turret, if I'm being completely honest with you. Yeah, there is this red buff as well. I figured everything would be up here, so that's why we're just going for this. This is very, very, very stupid. That one turret was doable, but afterwards, that Akali is just going to respawn and kill them, so they just hard, hard grief that. I also hard grief my plus 12 there. Yeah, they, they just completely saw, like, money signs or something for that turret for no reason. That's fine, I guess. Uh, we have a minute on that dragon. Would they Baron? I don't think so. Don't think I have to stress about that. Okay. I will have to walk away. There's a cannon. Can I get that cannon? I cannot get it with Q, sadly. Might as well get some uh, minions here then. Get the next cannon. Get some free charges out of this wave. Obviously, make sure you get the cannon here. And then we have to play for that dragon in 28. My team is inting, unfortunately, but that's, I guess, going to be fine. Uh, they have quite a decent amount of instances of magic damage, I think. That's actually physical. He's not on the magic damage front just yet. And we're going to go for Thornmill. For now. Yo, excuse me. I clicked this giant spell. Thank you. Why would you just teleport top there? You are literally trolling. <laughs> He teleports top without having Shen ultimate up. That is insanely... Oh, they Baroned, I see. I couldn't have prevented Baron anyway because of my Z inting. So I guess that sucks for me. All right, rip the Baron. I see. I just don't be daft, man. Just come on. He's going to move for this dragon for sure, right? Just queue him. It's going to be a dead monster here anyway. Uh, he cannot be slowed with his R active, which is a bit of a sad one. Give me my plus 12. You are literally trolling me. Okay. That's sad to miss a plus 12 like that. 706. Okay. 
Obviously hold your Q for that. Smite it out and we just go. Master E doesn't have ult now, so I'm just going to ghost and send it. All I have to do is get within wither range and he's dead. That's one. I did not get my wither on that, really? That's two. My teammates just stopped trolling. I get that thing. Taunt him, please. Did not miss his taunt. Beautiful. Perfect. Please do not overextend. Shen, what are you doing, man? Alright, whatever you want, mate. You are literally trolling. It's fine. I have already used my ult and my ghost. He is just simply overextending. It's quite literally unplayable with a pr with someone like that. I guess it's fine. I need to not disrespect Akali too much here. Alright, Akali is very, very fed here, unfortunately. My team keeps completely inting him, sadly. But, yeah. I need to get some more magic resist in my build. Probably a force of nature for the movement speed. That's fine, actually. This guy's just dead now. You are just gonna die here, buddy. There's nothing you can do. Oh, I guess there is something you can do. Two. Wither. Three. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta love it. Like, this Akali is gonna have to struggle to deal with me a lot because, yeah, she just is a burst mage. And I have so much sustainability that the moment I have more magic resist, she is just never going to beat me. Literally never. I think it's fine to take this turret right now, so I will go for that. But I do have to be somewhat respectful for now. I am not going to end up going for... Oh, this guy is just going to die. Things gets the kill, that's fine. Do that and just leave, please. I have 3000 gold. Can you please stop overextending, you absolute monsters? Withered. It's, these people are like literally trolling. It's actually criminal behavior right now. Whatever you want, guys. Just commit to this. I don't care anymore. It's fine. I'll be leaving. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculously trolling, these guys. We get the inhibitor and they just hard greed for the, for the Akali. Like, whatever you want at that point, you know. I want to take this guy's both side cams. Get my plus 12s. Uh... Mm, nothing to risk here, really. Okay, going for that wolf camp is probably a bit too greedy, so I won't be doing that. I'll just be taking my reset here. I'll play for the dragon spawn first, I think. I can get thorn mill here, so I will do that. And then I'll just go force of nature, I think, as my last item. Uh, I could go jock show. I think they have, don't have enough instances of magic damage, so I think jock show is going to be better. I'll buy the, build the magic resist first, of course. At this moment in the game as well, I'm probably going to end up selling these uh, Ability Haste Boots, because obviously they provide a bit less value to me now, with the other items already giving me more. Uh, so that's fine. I will just go for Juck Show, sell those boots for Steel Caps, and it should literally be impossible for them to kill me. I do not want to give him this Baron. That would be bad. 1100 damage on that. Akali is just hard shoving top. Okay, we're just going to go kill Akali then if this guy plays like this. A level 16 is a big thing for me to hit. Okay, that's just a cannon minion I want. I'm not going to go for the rest because Akali is completely over ag like going aggressive here. My team is walking straight into this. This guy's going to die here, though. Hopefully she walks backwards into me. Perfect. Wither. She is already dead. Auto attack move with Q. And dead. Perfect. Goodbye. We just need to play for the dragon now, I think. That's suicide as well. I guess it's a one for one. It's pretty tough. My team can do nothing but just keep like dying by themselves for some reason. It's kind of interesting. I got my Jock Show, so I'll go recall for it right now. It's going to make me pretty much unkillable in teamfights. And then I guess I just play for Dragon. I just kind of need to hope that my team... That's not enough money, sadly. Okay, I needed an extra 100 gold for that. I'll switch the boots on the next back. It's fine. Ward, Baron... Oh, well, I guess I have no... Chat on, apparently. It's fine. Master Yi, I have my R. I'm level 16. I have 800 chat stacks, so I should be fine here. Plus 12. I just... Oh, there's Yezreel. The 
Can I reach him from this point? Probably not. Another wither, and he's just gonna die. Now your positioning there is just not particularly good, now is it? Why is Jinx top lane as well? I'm not doing Baron. They're not doing Baron. I'm doing Dragon. Good luck, guys. I don't know what my team's position, like what this guy's position is. It's absolutely wild. Go for it. Why would you flash over the wall, you absolute monster of a person? Ah, that's a joke, man. Why would you ever flash over the wall there? It's two. If he doesn't flash over the wall there, Akali just literally dies. But because he flashes over the wall like an absolute monster, Akali follows him and I just can't kill Akali. That is literally, like, the dumbest thing I've seen. Alright, fine, whatever. Oh, no. Uh, we'll just Baron, it's fine. Let's go for it now. Jinx wasn't even in that fight either. Like, her position is absolutely grief, but... <laughs> I guess that is the, the, the nature of this game. My team just completely ends everything and I have to fix it. But yeah, in that situation, they have a hard time killing me. The moment I finish these boots into steel caps as well, it's going to be impossible for them to kill me. Because the only damage I was taking there was just like auto attack based damage, obviously due to the Blade of Rune Kings, but the steel caps damage reduction from that is going to help me massively. I'm tanking Baron like an absolute monster because this guy doesn't want to tank it for me, which means I have 50% less damage than Baron for some reason. And 600. Yeah, just like get it there, I guess. I need to sell my boots and then I'm also going to be taking the red potion for the extra sustainability. And I should be able to just end the game by just, just winning a team fight by myself pretty much. As long as my team doesn't troll, which I mean, they're pretty likely to, to be fair. But, you know, we hope for the best. We just hope for the best. But I'm very much unkillable. Okay, this is going to be fine. Go for that guy, please. This is a good engage. Like, if they engage on Zed here, that'd be absolutely fine, because I can just back that up. Obviously, queue it because of the plus 12. I don't particularly need the CS, but the plus 12 is just worth everything. 1300 damage to that. Perfect. Let's see if we can spot on the Kali. This is going to be fine. I'm going to go in on this. Wither. And you're already dead, buddy. Uh, why did you give him the jump even, my guy? Please, stop. He just wasted my ghost cooldown, pretty much. Obviously, don't wither the mastery, but wither the Senna instead. Surely my team gets that. We just Q this guy, wither him as well, and then Q him again. Hit the Akali with an auto attack move, Q. Nope. I guess it's fine. We can end here. This is game over. Ezreal's not here. Jinx is not here for some reason, but... They, Akali can literally not stop me from just killing their base turrets, so I'm gonna focus on those. He can do whatever she wants to me, honestly. I'm gonna finish everything here first, Q him. That's one. I just focus on the Nexus, and we're dead, we're done. There we go! A solid 1v9 for me, to be fair, because my team just hinted. But yeah, Nasus is a complete monster, literally unkillable late game. 4,000 damage on Trinity Force here. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed both of these games. If you did, make sure the like button below. It helps me quite a bit. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing, uh, for the first game here of course, 28.3k damage, which is the most in the game. Very solid. A true damage at 600, not too much. 3,000 there. Objective damage at 46k, that's pretty good. Healing done, 28k damage taken, and another 35.3. Self-mitigated, another 36k. So I took so much damage, sustained it a lot by healing it, and then also did the most damage as well. Nasa skills like an absolute god, so, you know, there is that. Uh, gold earned at 14.7k here as well, which is by far the most, pretty much double the rest of the enemy team. And yeah, that's it for that. And then the runes fleet healed me for 3000 healing, which is nice. But obviously you have the factor of the movement speed increase. The sticking potential from this thing is the reason you want it mostly. Uh, because that movement speed, like, or movement speed in general, sticking potential in general is a bit of a thing Nasus can struggle with. Uh, unless obviously the target is withered. But the more movement speed you can get, the more, the easier you can get in range, the better it is. 
uh, Triumph for 1800 HP restored extra gold, Tenacity CC reduction alongside a small rune, uh, could it graph for 900 damage? You want to take this one because of the extra damage on low HP to more so guarantee your Q actually kills something. Uh, that's the reason I take it. A magical footwear for the boots. Uh, just again, a little bit of extra movement speed. That movement speed is key. Being able to reach is very important. And then obviously approach velocity to synergize with your W to be able to reach very, very easily on the targets that you do wither. They'll be massively slow. You'll be sp uh, like like sped up big time and you can just finish it out pretty easily. Then for the stats for game number two here, I ended up doing 37.2k damage, which is a lot less than Akali by like a solid 20,000. However, you have to keep in mind here that my team kept permanently inting the Akali a lot of damage. So, you know, it added up quite a lot. And uh, yeah, Akali got away with quite a bit there. The only like fortunate thing, I guess, is that my champion just directly hard counters Akali because there is not a chance she'll ever, ever kill me as long as I have enough magic resist and I can just wither slow into like several Qs with scaling. She always dies. There is nothing she can do. So scaling wise, I was always going to win. Is my damage lower than, well, the Akali's? Absolutely, because my team is completely griefing or was completely griefing a lot of kills into her. And, you know, that adds up a lot of damage, of course. So there is that. A true damage at 1100, we have objective damage at 65.7k, which is very solid. Healing done at 35.6, damage taken at 46k, which is by far the most here. Another self-mitigate, another 69k as well. So I took a tremendous amount of damage uh, while also doing by far the most damage on my team. Uh, so that is quite good. Jinx started off pretty well, but that just ended up inting at the end. Uh, gold earned at 19.6k, which is the most here above the Akali even. Uh, so, you know, I mean, Akali, how many kills did she have? 21. Uh, CS is relatively even, uh, but I have the extra turret gold in a lot of situations and potentially some shutdowns as well, uh, but uh, overall pretty good. Uh, for the runes here, Fleet healed me for 3,800, but the movement speed again with the sticking potential is the main thing you want it for. A triumph for 2600 HP restored and the extra gold. Tenacity CC reduction. A coup de grace for 1100 damage. Again, synergizing with the Q to get those last hits more guaranteed for the plus 12. Then magical footwear for the extra movement speed. And then approach velocity again for the movement speed towards targets you wither. Uh, making your life much, much easier. And it's just very strong. The build was finished. I wouldn't change anything in this situation. Uh, so that ended up being the build. Obviously, tank items are extremely situational. Uh, so, you know, there might be a force of nature in here against certain teams where in this game it wasn't because of not enough instances of magic damage. If they do have enough instances of magic damage, force of nature is the best magic resist item you can take, really. Um, because, well, this gives you a colossal amount of movement speed. It's like 15% total movement speed, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, also, if they have... If the game is good for Force of Nature, the game is pretty much always going to be good for Spirit Visit as well, because that means that they probably are AP heavy enough to the point where you can get both, and then you can get the sustainability from the Spirit Visit alongside the, uh, the movement speed and the magic resist from Force of Nature, essentially making you unkillable against magic damage at any given moment. Uh, so, yeah, there is that. Uh, but with that being said, though, I hope you guys have enjoyed both of these games, enjoyed this video. If you didn't make sure the like button below, it helps me quite a bit. And with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow with another one. Bye.